Hi everyone, today is April uh, 17th, 2021. I'm going to take you through our workout. We have a, a lot of squats today and we have some upper body stuff going on. So we are going to get prepped. Uh, we're going to start off with a four minute calories. So we're going to bike or row at the gym. If you don't have any cardio equipment, uh, cardio equipment at your house, you can go for a run. <clears throat> then we'll do a six minute clock. We're going to do alternating grinders. So we can go here and then switch sides go to the opposite side. Then we have uh, bootstrappers. So we're just gonna get down to that squat position, bring our hips up, bring our hips down, push our knees out with your elbows. Uh, then we have alternating reverse lunge. So we're just gonna step back, drop our knee to the ground, and then alternate both feet. And we have a good morning. So you wanna get a barbell, something moderate, get it on your back, stick your butt back, squeeze your hips up to the top. So you're gonna do 10 alternating elbow uh, punches. So your barbell's on your front rack, you're gonna push your elbows up as high as you can, release and then push. And then we have 10 shoulder presses with a second, uh, second pause at the top. So you press all the way up and then hold that barbell overhead. So we'll go through six minutes on the clock um, with that breath scheme. Then for our Metcon, we have back squats, front squats, and we have overhead squats, and we are going to pair that with some hand release push-ups, and then we're going to finish off with some air squats. Pretty nasty workout, if, uh, if I say. Uh, so we have the barbell on our back. The first one is going to be a uh, 20 back squat, so we're just going to squat all the way down, stand all the way up. Now the barbell is going to go from the ground, so you actually have to get the barbell from the ground to your shoulder, to overhead, and then behind your back. So from this position, you're gonna dip, jump like a push jerk, and then as you set your feet up, you're gonna give that bar to your shoulders. When you get that bar to your shoulders, you don't want to punch on over. Make sure you're re receiving it with it with your back straight up. That's gonna the, the weight that you're gonna put on your back is going to be dictated by your ability to get it from your neck to the back of your uh, shoulders. So we have back squats. Then. For the next squat movement, you're gonna be going to front squats. So elbows are gonna be all the way up. You're gonna squat all the way down, stand all the way up. The next one's going to be an overhead squat. So you're gonna bar over your head, squat all the way down, stand all the way up. And then the last one, we're doing regular old air squats. So we're just gonna squat down and stand up. So it's gonna be 20 back squats, uh, 30 front squats, 40 overhead squats, and then 50 air squats. So you're gonna keep going up reps. Now in between those you're going to have some hand release push-ups. You're going to get down to the ground, you're going to release your hands to the ground, and then press all the way up. You can modify that from the knee, down and up. If you're doing it from the knee, we don't want to be in this position with our hips up. You want to bring your hips forward, get into a nice tight plank position, hands up, and press up. <clears throat> if you're working out at home, we can go ahead and do dumbbell uh, or barbell or, or kettlebell squats, uh, whatever you have at home, just keep that in the front rack position and just go through that rep scheme. Or you can go air squats and just follow the rep scheme. Push-ups are push-ups. All right, so that's our workout today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and make sure you post your workout score to Wattify. Have a good workout.